Welcome to ACI, the Network Made Simple learning series. In this video, we will cover Module 2, Configuring Physical Connectivity, Chapter 6, Best Practices. In this module, we'll learn how to perform the physical network configuration on ACI by using our golden questions as an easy way to connect anything to it. We always need to perform this step, also known as access policies configuration, every time we physically connect a new device to ACI. I will be adding extra chapters to this module as needed, so stay tuned. In the next module, we will learn how we want to define communication between different endpoints by configuring the logical network and using things like tenants, EPGs, contracts, and so on. But before we do that, I would like to close this module by sharing a few best practices that may help you as you perform the access policies configuration tasks. As you learned, there are four main things that we create when configuring access policies and new connections. Switch profiles, interface profiles, port selectors, and policy groups, which include policies. It is very easy to get your configurations messy with this if you create new profiles and objects every time you add a new connection. So, I would like you to just create what you need. Let's start with switch profiles. You only need to do this once per switch, so avoid creating multiple profiles for the same switch to keep your configurations clean. As a best practice, build additional switch profiles for every VPC switch pair you will use, as well as for switches with fiber channel ports if you have any. Then, create a corresponding interface profile even with the same name as your switch profile if you'd like. Switches then contain interfaces. This is where you will create port selectors and associate them to the corresponding interface profile. Just create the port selector once per interface and keep it simple by using the interface ID as its name. Keep in mind that if you use the wizard, the name will be automatically assigned. Last, remember we must specify how to configure that interface and we do this by creating policy groups, which include policies. You need to either reuse or create policy groups every time you connect new devices. You can reuse them if they are access policy groups, but you need to create new and dedicated ones for each port channel and virtual port channel connection. Use simple and descriptive names for your policy groups based on what you are connecting. The same naming principle applies to your policies based on the features you are modifying. Just create your policy once, since you may use it in many policy groups without restrictions. If you follow this procedure, you will never have to touch the switch profile again, since new port selectors are added to the associated interface profile instead. Let's take a quick look on the APIC to see how this looks like. First, we want to have our switch and interface profiles created, either through the wizard or following the step-by-step -step approach. In the step-by-step -step approach as shown, we always want to create switch profiles with corresponding interface profiles, and they both should look associated as shown. If you use the wizard, it is best to use it when you are provisioning your first connection for a new switch or VPC pair, since it will automatically create a new switch and interface profile, as well as a port selector based on the interface you choose. You can always adjust the switch and interface profile names the wizard generates to follow our best practices naming convention, and from there, proceed with the policy group creation for that first connection. Remember that if you use the wizard, the port selector name is automatically created using the selector word as prefix and then the interface number. For subsequent connections on that switch or VPC pair, just create port selectors and policy groups using the step-by-step -step approach and simply add them to the wizard-generated interface profile. Otherwise, the wizard will complain since as of ACI 4.2, we cannot load existing switch nor interface profiles to it for new port and policy group configurations, forcing you to create new switch and interface profiles every time, which is not what we want. As we mentioned, and going back to the step-by-step -step approach, you want to create leaf and interface profile sets for individual leaves and VPC pairs, which as you can see, will keep your switch and interface profiles nice, associated, and tidy. Then. At the right interface profile, either the single switch or the VPC one, create your access port selectors with the interfaces and policy groups you want to use. In my case, I have single lane connections on ports 1 slash 1 through 1 slash 4 on leaf 201. 
it is recommended that each policy group associated to your pork's lectures is named with something meaningful to the connection as you can see here. That way, you can quickly figure out what is connected on the other end. This will provide you with a very easy way to see everything, from switch and interface profiles, which at the main section includes a summary of all the interface used by them, to the individual profiles and their interfaces, including what is connected on the other end through their policy group description. As best practice, I use generic descriptions for access ports, as they can be recycled. While for virtual port channel and port channel ones, I use a specific descriptions based on the server or endpoint I am connecting. Every time you need to add a new connection on an unused port, just add a new port selector with the policy group to the interface profile. Since it is already associated to the corresponding switch profile, you won't need to do anything else. As mentioned before, keep in mind that if you use the wizard initially, port selector names will be assigned by default as shown and can be adjusted. So you may want to follow that naming convention instead to make it consistent. As you would expect, you can also recycle domains, AEPs, and VLAN pools. Let's show a quick example to put everything together. Let's think you have all your production servers running on VMware, Hyper-V, and bare metal on different blade server enclosures all across your network. Instead of creating the same network configuration multiple times, you just have to define the AEP once, including all three domains and VLAN pools, and then you can reuse all of them by attaching the same AEP to any access, VPC, or port channel policy group you may need. In this case, you end up with three different connections using the same AEP, one access policy group and two VPC policy groups. But this could potentially be hundreds or even thousands of connections using the same configuration you had to create only once. This translates into less time invested and less potential errors due to configuration inconsistencies. As a summary, we always want to create only what we need and recycle objects to simplify our operations as much as possible. Always remember to create new policy groups for each VPC and port channel connections, and you should be fine. ACI provides you with a better, simpler, and secure network, any size, anywhere, and on any cloud. If you want to learn more about other common tasks and how ACI radically simplifies network provisioning and operations, please watch the rest of the videos in this series. Thanks for watching.